Meister pump is mounted on a Mercedes-Benz chassis and the Daimler label on the box shows that this is a genuine licensed product. The Putzmeister pump that's modelled is an M42 with a five section boom and it's in the colours of Berger Beton which is part of the German Berger group. As this is a limited edition model it comes in a Conrad branded box and inside there's the normal foam backed cardboard protecting the model. There's a small bag of parts to be fitted but no instructions. As usual for Conrad, you have to separate the parts to be fitted. And if you're feeling tough, you can just twist them off with brute strength. Or if you're feeling a bit more refined and precise, you can get out a sharp modelling knife. Or as you see here, it's been decided to be indecisive and use both. As usual, the door mirrors press into holes in the cab. And you can't get it upside down because the holes in mirror support at the bottom are bigger than the ones at the top. There's also another small mirror which just pushes in above the passenger side door. And then moving on to the top of the cab there are a couple of roof aerials to be fitted. These press in but you might need to trim the ends if the mouldings have got flashings. The last thing to do to get the model into a transport configuration is to clip the spreader plates onto the rear outrigger beam. They clip into place which is a neat storage solution. With that the pump is complete in a transport configuration. Sadly however we have to report that during the making of this video several members of the team were sacked due to incompetence. Starting underneath the rear axles are modelled quite well but the drive shaft doesn't quite get to the engine because of the functional modelling of the steering. The wheels are smart and they have decent treaded tyres. The Actros cab has textured door mirrors and the simple Berger graphics look good but surprisingly there's no number plate. The rear outrigger beams are metal with simple graphics and the simple circular pads are plastic. The hydraulic fluid coolers are modelled on the inside face of the outriggers. And at the rear there are textured walkways with metal handrails and the loading hopper is nicely modelled with a grille. The placing boom is really well modelled because both it and the pipework is metal. The connection rivets are small and there's a discharge hose at the end. It looks like the driver has set up the machine wrongly again but at least it lets us look underneath. The rear wheels turn independently and there's some suspension movement. Turning to the front axles and we see the front axles turning. They've got linked steering and as you can see it turns to a very good angle. The Mercedes-Benz Actros chassis gives the Putzmeister pump a nice smooth ride in a straight line. And with a quick flick of the wrists a really hard lock can be set on the steering. And even with that the wheels still roll well. Ok so the concrete pump has arrived on site so let's get it set up. Firstly we'll pull out the rear outrigger beam and pull off the two spreader plates. The front outrigger beam is two stage telescopic, partly metal and partly plastic. Lowering the pads is a little unusual because they're not on screw threads. In fact they just pull down and they rely on friction to hold a position. But because the pistons are very stiff they will hold an extension. And they are strong enough to hold up the whole model off the ground, wheels free. So here we are, the outriggers are all set and we can raise the placing boom. And again the Conrad model engineering doesn't fail because the cylinders are very stiff. So although it is hard to raise the placing boom it will hold any pose that you set. It's also got quite a complicated geometry because the boom has got five independent sections. But again the model engineering is good because you can fold it out just like the real machine.
once the boom is raised then you can fully rotate it and it can be turned through 360 degrees and point in any direction. There's one other working feature on the model and that's the lid on the hopper and it opens and closes nicely. When the boom is fully opened up a big model results so let's get the tape measure out and see how big it is. To the top it's over 28 inches or 70 centimeters. Overall this is another very nice concrete pump model from Conrad. It's certainly a strong model with very good functionality and the detailing and the limited edition Berger colour scheme means it looks good too. It's highly recommended.